Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today we visit a Warren landmark, Tombs Bike Shop, and I prepare my easy cookie crumble three different ways. But first, make your own personalized art at the Brazen Brush. You are going to love this place. It is the Brazen Brush here in Boardman. The owners are Matt and Cheryl Fichter. And this is basically customizable art. And when I look at all your samples and all the things you do, I, I, how did you come up with this idea? Um, well, I taught canvas painting for three years. Um, I also have a background in graphic design and I've done vinyl graphics and we use the vinyl to make the stencils for the signs and it just all came together. I mean, you do it all. I mean, Matt, you guys, uh, you, you, you assemble these palettes. This is a brilliant idea. Thank you. And how, how has this been received? I mean, how is everybody that comes it's here? It's been really popular. We've had a lot of people come in. We've, we've had customers come in five, six times. Um, they make great wedding gifts, um, shower gifts, baby showers. We have, we have designs for every holiday, every occasion. You can uh, pick whatever color you want. You have all the stencils. So all of these designs that are around here are customizable. Yes, we have over 90 designs, I think, uh, 45, 50 of which are customizable with family names, established dates. Um, we can change wording on the sign if they want something a little different. Yeah. We'll even do customs. Um, you'll see I made one for you today. Um, but we do customs for a slight upcharge just for my design time. Yeah. yeah. Well, it takes time. And, and what does the average um, time to, from beginning to end when you create these? Um, a class runs two and a half hours. Okay. Depending on how much you know you chit chat with your friends mm -hmm. and everything, you could be done in an hour and a half and just sit around for the rest of the time or it could take you three hours. Okay, now we're gonna do, this is the prep, the bottom coat, right? The base? Yes. Now, do I do the sides too? Yep, do the okay. sides. And we all are doing different designs? Yes. And in the end, after we, we're going to distress and sand and it's going to look... Um, so that's where the chic comes in? Yes, and it's going to look very much like chalk paint, actually. I feel so artistic. Now what do we do? Now we apply Teacher. our first stencil. You have three because you're special. I have two, Matt has two. So you take your first stencil, which is that one, the one the on top. The big one. Correct. We're doing my logo. Okay. okay. And you're going to flip it face down. All right. Okay. You're going to peel back the solid white backing and hold the yellow down. Yeah, so you kind of center. It's going to hang off both sides, maybe an inch. Okay. And then top to bottom, we just want to make sure it looks straight. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Now, your hair on your cartoon is red and kind of a burnt orange. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. What do you want for colors? I guess we could go, like, orange and brown, you know, orange okay. and brown. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it, it's in hands. Okay. <laughs> like, I was like, is her hair actually orange? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm Lucille Ball. <laughs> Wow, we, wow. Hey, wow. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a dentist too. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Stay washer. Look at, she's gonna fix my hillbilly tooth.
So, this was our artwork for today. I don't know, you did a pretty good job, Matt. Who do you think no, gets the star? I have no artistic ability, and I did that side. That is beautiful. I, I, what do you think, Cheryl? I think you did a nice job. He did a good that. job. He did. I mean, look at that. But I love yours. Look at that with the, with the metallic colors. And then, of course, the custom sign. I know this was a real pain in the neck. And Just a little bit. A That's little okay. Bit. It was worth it. Well, we have open classes three days a week. Um, we do a lot of fundraisers. Um, basically, we lower our prices, and then whatever the organization upcharges is what they keep. So that's oh, a really see. good yeah. idea. Um, we have private parties, obviously. Bachelorette parties are huge. That would be a we lot do a of fun. lot of Christmas and fall signs, the big holidays. Yeah. But literally, we have signs for every holiday, every occasion housewarming gifts, weddings, everything. And she is going to work on a sign for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, Correct? I will. I will. We're going to get some shamrocks. <laughs> the shamrock. Not yes. Really That's okay. right. See? Oh, he does pay attention. He does. No wonder you love him. <laughs> oh, but this is an awesome place and they have an open house around the holidays and in the fall and uh, go to Facebook, go to their website and you have got to check out the brazen brush because this is awesome. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery with owner Phil Rita and Chef Tank. Been on field trips. I know from where you get your food. And always, I'm never disappointed by your menu. What do we have coming up? Okay, that's our Magic Monster Burger. It has two eight ounce patties and some Walnut Hill Farms pork belly on it with a little bit of pecan jam. We have our new pepperoni pretzel roll with house made marinara. We have our award winning bacon jam burger with premium pastured meats meat on it and we also have our pot roast and of course our house pretzels. It all sounds so amazing. Casey, I am so proud of our kitchen team for the pride they take in making everything from scratch and supporting local farmers. It's what makes Magic Tree live up to who we are and that's a place where people can eat, drink and celebrate. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> We do catering seven days a week. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything you want. So if you want us to do one thing or everything for your holiday party, we can do it. We can do it with Gourmet to Go. We can do it with our off-premise catering. We can do anything that you want. We have lots of great restaurants in our community, but I would like to be the one that impresses your family and friends this year during the holidays. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. I love taking care of customers, especially during the holidays. When there was the turducken craze, we were there. We went from 13 orders to over 500 turduckens in one day online. We really worked with FedEx to be able to coordinate pickup and to make sure everybody's gonna get their product. The number one benefit that we use from the American Express Plum Card is its relationship with FedEx. So now our brand is no longer local, it's national. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. At the Vein Center in Med Spa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. We provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center in Med Spa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. Call the Vein Center in Med Spa for a free consultation. See why our patients leave satisfied. Now accepting Anthem and Highmark. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's, and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients, and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rolly Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. 
Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for what matters most. Home, auto, life, boat, RV, umbrella. We'll find the right product at the right price for your family. Mayflower Wollum with three locations to serve you. Today's cooking segment is packed with information. It is my easy cookie crumble dessert. Three different varieties. Apple with the snickerdoodle cookies, and then we use the sugar cookie for the cherry and for the lemon. So let's get started. I preheated the oven to 375 degrees, and I've greased a nine by nine cooking pan. In the bowl, we have the egg. We're going to whisk it, and then add the sugar cookie cookie mix on top of the beaten egg. We'll mix that a little bit, and now we'll add a stick of unsalted butter that's been melted, and we'll add that to the cookie mix. And now we'll blend that together, and look how easily the dough just comes together. Once it forms the dough, we are going to remove three quarters of a cup of that and set it aside, and we'll use that in just a little bit. And then we'll take the remaining dough and line the bottom of the nine by nine prepared cooking pan, and we are going to just evenly put that along the bottom because that is going to serve as our crust. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to take the canned cherry pie filling and we'll put that out. It's really good. I'll tell you, the tang from the cherries, this makes it a really nice, bright recipe. All right, so we got it all out. And to the cherry pie mix, I'm just going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract, just for a little enhancement. And now we are going to top this crust with the cherry mixture. And we'll just spread that evenly over the cookie crust layer. Remember the three quarters of a cup of dough that I saved? Well now, I'm just going to break it off into little pieces and evenly drop it over the top of the cherry pie filling. And the last step, since we have the almond flavoring in there, I thought it would be nice to add a little crunch to this dish. And I have some slivered almonds and I will just top the cookies that I have broken up on top over top of that. And then into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Start watching it at about 30 minutes. I'm not sure how hot your oven bakes. And this will be ready in no time. Next up is the lemon crumble. Again, it's the same thing. I'm gonna whisk up the egg at the bottom of the bowl. Very easy to do. Again, I'm going to use the sugar cookie as the base. Add that to the top of the egg. There we go. Mix that up just a little bit. A stick of unsalted melted butter. And again, we are going to remove three quarters of a cup of this dough. And now, to kick the lemon up a notch, I grated the zest from one lemon. All right, and again, I uh, have some chopped walnuts that I'm gonna add for the lemon and just sprinkle them on and, you know, evenly put them over the top of the lemon crumble. That's it. Again, into 375 degree oven, 40 to 45 minutes, but start watching it. I let mine go to about 45, but I'm not sure, again, how hot your oven runs. Now this one, I went a little crazy. Running with scissors. All right, I'm using snickerdoodle instead of the sugar cookie. Love snickerdoodles, okay? And that is, of course, a cinnamon cookie. Now time for the melted butter. All right. For the cinnamon, you get a little packet. 
of a cinnamon sugar in the bag. Keep this separate and we'll use this with each layer. With this cinnamon sugar packet, I am just gonna use about a third of it and sprinkle it on top of the bottom layer of dough. All right, on top of this, we're now going to add the apples. And again, I'm using walnuts, but I think this will be fine with pecans or even almonds. And now we're gonna sprinkle the rest of the cinnamon sugar right on top. Goes into the oven, 375, 40 to 45 minutes. Just keep an eye on it, depending on the heat from your oven. Well, the smell of baked goods in your <laughs> oven always makes you come out for this. It huh? always encourages me to come downstairs. <laughs> so, we've got the apple snickerdoodle, we've got the lemon crumble, and we have the cherry crumble. And Which do. one do you prefer? I think my favorite is the lemon. You and Ken. <laughs> is that right? Something in common. Now, remember I was talking to you about the bake times. My mother's oven runs a bit more uh, hot. So I started watching it at about 30 minutes and uh, hers, you know, I only put these in for about 35, but in my house it was you know, about 40 to 45. So oh, just check your oven. Mine's a little bit newer than yours. Yes, much newer. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is a terrific dessert. It's hard. All three ways. It's hard to believe that this came out of a can. I know. And, a can and, 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 a, and, pot. and a pot. And uh, Jelaine always wants a good reason for champagne. And uh, champagne pairs very well. Oh, it, your dad used to tell me when I'd wash the dog that I would drink it for champagne. champagne. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Great. A little bit of mums. The good stuff. Any excuse. All right, so go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. All the crumble recipes will be there and you are going to wow your guests. Oh. Really. They're so easy and so <laughs> delicious. And think of different combinations with the different fry, uh, pie fillings, rather. All right? All right. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Enjoy the crumbles. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Every year, at the same time, the air gets a little colder, the faces get a little warmer, and family gets a little closer everything seems to slow down and what matters most is suddenly much easier to see pioneer trails tree farm providing farm fresh christmas trees for over 30 years continue your family tradition at pioneer trails tree farm hi i'm elizabeth bernard i've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. I love taking care of customers, especially during the holidays. When there was the turducken craze, we were there. We went from 13 orders to over 500 turduckens in one day online. We really worked with FedEx to be able to coordinate pickup and to make sure everybody's gonna get their product. The number one benefit that we use from the American Express Plum Card is its relationship with FedEx. So now our brand is no longer local, it's national. My mom was always in my corner. Always pushing me to do better. I couldn't have asked for a better mother. So when she needed assisted living... I did my research. Doctors, nurses... And others with family and assisted living... They all said... Trust the name you know. Briarfield. For assisted living with top health care experts, a caring staff, and a comfortable home-like setting. Trust the name you know. 
Briarfield. Trust the name you know, Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for your business. We work with several companies so you have choices for your insurance needs. Commercial properties, professional liability, bonding, and general. Trust Mayflower Wollum. It's time to get real about getting engaged. Real experts you can count on. Real pricing and financing for your budget. And really one-of-a-kind engagement rings. That are unique as she is. Get real, get Kamara. Get real, get Kamara. In the Cool Creek Plaza in Canfield. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. This Christmas season, Midas is hosting the Army of Toys campaign for the Salvation Army. Bring in a new unwrapped toy and you will receive a free oil change voucher from Midas. Let's make sure the kids in our valley have a great holiday season. Merry Christmas from Midas. The perfect gift, Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, the best food in the valley. For every $50 you spend on gift cards, you get a free $10 bonus card. Stonebridge Grill and Tavern, Route 224 in Boardman, and their new location on Route 46 in Howland. The building that houses Tombs Bike and Clock Shop is over 100 years old. It has a long and rich history in downtown Warren. Augie and Linda Toom are third generation owners. For quality bicycles and accessories, along with wall, mantle, and grandfather clocks, you need look no further than Tombs. Now remember, it's pronounced Tombs, not Thumbs. Even if you are not a bicycle rider, you have got to visit Tombs right here in downtown Warren. I love this place. It's amazing. And it was started by Augie Tombs' grandfather, correct? correct. Absolutely. Yep. What year was that? 1909. So this will be our 107th year. I mean, over 100 years, this is an ancient building and you have just, I mean, packed it with bicycles and clocks. We've got at least 1,500 bikes in stock and we have about 300 clocks in stock. Now, uh, it's a really interesting backstory um, how you got into the clock business as well as bicycles. Well, the bicycle business, of course, is a seasonal business and in the winter time, I wasn't making any money. So I told my dad about it. He said, I'm not giving you a raise, just figure <laughs> out something that'll sell in the winter that won't interfere in the summer and the seasonality of clocks is opposite that of bicycles. So even though they sound like two completely disjointed things to sell side by side, they, it works for me. A good bicycle, like the brands that we carry, are the best available. A, a real bicycle is something completely different than the things that I call bicycle-like objects that you find at the, the mass merchants. <laughs> they look like a bike, but they're a toy. Uh, they're not really a bike. What? differentiates a good bike from a bad bike like how is this bike better than some of these mass-produced cheap ones that you can find anywhere first of all the way the a bike is made is the essence uh, the department store bikes unlike mine are not don't have full aluminum frames in most cases but everything's aluminum the handlebar the handlebar stem the seat post the crank arms the rims are not only aluminum, but they're double wall heat treated aluminum, so they're lighter and stiffer than a single wall rim that's not heat treated. So then they won't rust? They won't rust. And, and they're, they're lighter. Much, and they're much harder to bend. The wheels are the part of the bike that's closest to the ground, so it's the most vulnerable, vulnerable part, part for damage. Also, the tires on this are 29 inches. They're not a 26 or a 24. Um, so they roll over the ruts and the chuck holes better than a smaller diameter wheel. And so, you assemble the bike. Absolutely. When you buy a bike from me, it doesn't just get handed to you <laughs> after some kid halfway assembled it. Yeah. You either Greg or I assemble them and check them and make sure they're perfect before you get them. We grease the cables. We use anti-seize compound and components that might need to be taken apart someday. Um, so you end up with a properly adjusted world-class bike if you buy something here. Now, Augie, you are so particular about the qualities that your bikes possess before you'll sell them. What requirements do you have of your clocks? The same thing. All I sell are Howard Miller and Bulova, the two nicest brands on the market. Um, Howard Millers are made up in Zeeland, Michigan. 
They make beautiful stuff and Bulova is such a pretty brand of clock and they're so diverse as far as the products in their line. And the, the cuckoo clocks are genuine black forest made in Germany cuckoo clocks. I, I mean, these, I have not seen one of these. You know, my dad served uh, over there um, and we used to have one in our house. Right. And, and you know, I don't even know whatever became of it. But these are made in Germany. Absolutely. Um, I sell Ramba and Gebrunner Kuhner, which are the two premier brands made in Germany. Clocks add a lot more to a room than just the ability for it to show you what time it is. Why your interest in, in, in clocks and timepieces? Well, I've been a watch collector most of my life, and clocks and watches are close, closely associated with one another. When I'd go to a, a regional or national watch show, there's plenty of clock people there too. Mm -hmm. And my dad collected clocks, so that's how the interest started. And the other thing is the seasonality of clocks and bikes are opposite one another, so it's the natural thing, at least for me, to sell side by side. And you've been here for over a hundred years, so right. you're not some fly-by-night, you're, you're not going anywhere anytime quickly, are I'm you? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> this is our 107th year in business selling bikes. Think there'll be a hundred more? Oh. Yeah, I don't see why not. We've seen steady growth every year um, since. Now, do I've you have children? I have a daughter that's a registered nurse. So she's uh, not going into the bike business. Probably not. But I have a mechanic that's been with me for 17 years, so he's probably the most likely prospect. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.